This is Professor Antonio S. Marajas, and this is Advanced Digital Technique. We go now to registers and counters. So this is another topic. After flip-flops, this will be our next topic. No? So registers and counters. So let us define first register. Register is a group of memory elements of memory elements that work together as a unit. Diba? We define flip-flop as a memory element, right? So this time, a register is a group of memory elements or we can also say it is a group of flip-flops. While flip-flop stores a binary bit, the register stores a binary word. So what's the difference between a binary bit and a binary word? When you say binary bit, that is either 1 or 0. That is 1 bit. When you say binary word, that comprises of two or more binary bits. Okay, so that's the difference between a binary bit and a binary word. So this time, a register stores a binary word, not a binary bit. Okay? So, the simplest registers do nothing more than to store a binary word. So, what we have here is a buffer register. Okay? We call this as our buffer register. This is a 4-bit buffer register. If you notice that we are using here D flip-flops. 4D flip-flops. Okay? With positive edge triggering of the clock. And if you notice also that each of this clock here of the flip-flops are interconnected together and each of the clear here are also interconnected together. Meaning to say that in your clock, if there is positive edge triggering, for example, this one here, this is your positive triggering, all of these flip-flops will receive the positive triggering at the same time. Okay? The same way as in our clear here, we have a low preset and clear, no? because of the bubbles. So if clear is equal to zero, automatically all the flip-flops here will receive clear equal to zero. Okay? Now, how about X3, X2, X1, and XO? These are actually binary words with, which comes from the outside world. I mean to say, gikan sa ato. Because this one here can be located inside your computer, for example, or in your cell phone. Okay? So, again, this one here, X3, X2, X1, and X0 are coming from the outside world. Okay? So, every time, for example, if you uh, press a letter A in your keyboard, let's say, for example, the ASCII code of A, ASCII means American Standard Code, no? If the ASCII code of A, for example, is 1101, okay? When you press A, this 1101 will be transmitted inside your computer and will be received by your X here. Say, for example, this one here is your XO, and this one here is your X1, and this one here is your 1, and this one here is this one. Okay? So, in other words, this is your XO, X1, X2, and X3. So, again, these are binary or ASCII code. Okay? So... Again, these are uh, the, the X here, the value of your X comes from the outside world. So again, if you press A, for example, this is your ASCII code A here. Once you press the, the, the character in your keyboard A, that will be converted into its binary form, ASCII code equivalent, which is 1101. And that will be transmitted here in your X. Okay? So how do we store this value or A into our flip-flops or register. Okay? 
So, this is your, your initial value of your x. Now, if clear is equal to 0, all of these values here will have a value of 0. If clear no? or clear is 0, that means that the reset niya, ang tanan niya, flip-flops. Okay? Now, if the flip-flops are reset, that means that your your buffer register is now ready to receive information. So, we just leave it as out. Uh, or we just hang your clear, and then all of your flip-flops are now ready to receive data coming from the outside world. So, when you press A, this will be stored, uh, this will be transmitted towards your X, and then during the first positive edge triggering of the clock, all of these flip-flops will receive the positive triggering. So that in our previous discussion for D flip-flop, D implies Q if there is positive edge triggering of the clock. So, since XO here is transmitted here, your D sub 0 will be equal to 1. That means that your D sub 0 during positive triggering of the clock, your Q becomes 1. D implies Q. So this one here also, D implies Q. Then this one, D implies Q. So this becomes 1. And this one here, D implies Q. So this becomes 1 also. So the stored word now in your buffer register will be 1, 1, 0, 1. And how do we know that these values are stored? If you have a light emitting diode, for example, you place it here at the output part of your buffer. Once this x1, x2, x3, and x sub 0 are stored in your uh, buffer register during positive base degree of the clock, the light emitting diode will leak if it is 1. For example, in this case, musiga diri, kani palong, kisi roman. Kani musiga, kani musiga. That means that the data, which is 1101, which is equivalent to letter A, are now stored into your buffer register. We're going now to control buffer register. So this is actually the same as the buffer register that we have previously discussed. But this time, the transmission of your X3, X2, X1, and X0 are now being controlled by the load here. No? So your load is your control input. No? Load is your control input. So it is the load that will determine when x2, x1, x1, uh, x2, x1, and x0 can be transmitted towards your D. Okay? So there are two conditions of the load. Load is equal to 1 and load is equal to 0. Now, if load is equal to 1, then the value of your x3, x2, x1, and x0 can now be transmitted. Okay? So, this value here can be transmitted towards your D. No? So, tanaw na to, ha? So, for example, again, if you have A, the ASCII code equivalent or the binary representation of A is 1101. <clears throat> so, x all here is 1, x1 is 0, this is 1, and this is also 1, okay? Now, if load is equal to 1, what happened? You have 1, load is 1 here, 1, 1, so you have, and gate is 1, okay? According to the definition of our, our gate, if any of the input is high, the output is high. So, this one here is 1. So assuming that your Q sub 0 is 0, Q sub 1 is 0, Q sub 2 is 0, Q sub 3 is 0. Where did we get these values from our clear? So if clear is equal to 0, all of the data here will be uh, clear. No? So assuming that clear becomes 1 or high, that means that the, the buffer register is now ready to receive information. Now if load is equal to 1, what will happen is that the value of your x all here can now be transmitted towards your d sub 0. Even if your q sub 0 here is 0, and this one here, uh, this is 1, invert, this is also 0. So 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is still 1. Okay?
Okay? So, if you notice that the value of your XO here will be transmitted towards your B sub 0. In the same way as in your X1, X1 here is 0, your load is 1, 0, 1 is 0, this is 0 here, and 0, 0, 0 is 0, so 0, 0 for the OR gate is 0. So if you notice again that the value of your X1 here is this value here. So the same here, any? The same gap pun ang condition diri. So the output here of your AND gate will be 1, and so as with this one. So that during the positive edge triggering of the clock, this value here will be stored into your output Q. D implies Q, so this becomes 1. D implies Q, since D is 0, so your Q sub 1 will be 0. D implies Q, so D sub 2 is 1, this becomes 1, and this becomes 1 also, since D sub 3 is equal to 1. So in other words, this value here can now be stored towards your Q at the output of your buffer register if load is equal to 1. Okay? Now, however, if load is equal to 0, assuming that we did not change the value of your x here, x3, x2, x1, and x sub 0, it will still be 1, 1, 0, 1. So, if load is equal to 0, that means that this line here, since it passes through an inverter, this will be 1 here, and all of this line here will be under 0, no? Okay? Because they are connected. So, if you notice that if this is 1, 1, 0 is 0, okay? And then, if you notice that this one here is already 1, okay? It's 1 here, from our previous value. So, since this one here is 0, invert, this becomes 1, so 1, 1, 1, 1 is 1, okay? And 1, 0, or gate is still 1. Okay? Then, here, we have 0, and this one here is 0 also. So, you have 0, 0 is 0, then Q sub 1 here is 0, and then X, uh, this uh, area here is 1. So, you have 1 here, 0, 1 is 0. 0, 0 is still 0. Okay? And then, this one here, the condition here is this, just the same as the condition here and this one. Now, if you notice that the value of your Q sub 0 here, it's not actually the value of your X that was transmitted here, but the value of your Q sub 0, Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3, which is 1, 1, 0, 1, which is being transmitted back towards your input and not this particular condition. Okay? So that is how it works. So if load is equal to 0, then the value, this is 1 here, if load is equal to 1, can be transmitted. If load is equal to 0, then the output is no means condition. That is NC. Okay? So this is for a 4-bit buffer register. So if you have a computer which is 4-bit, this will be your buffer register. So if you have a computer with uh, 8 bits, you will need again 8 uh, D-flip-flops. If you have 16 bits, then you need 16 flip-flops. If you have 32 bits computer, then you need 32 bits of this buffer register. And if you have 64 bits, you need 64 uh, flip-flops in this particular condition. No? So, it would depend on the, the uh, uh, the availability or the capability of your computer. So, that's how the buffer register works. Again, if load is equal to 1, then the value of here, x here, can be transmitted towards your input D. And if there is positive by trigger of the clock, the value of your D becomes the value of your output Q or D implies Q. Okay? However, if load is equal to 0, then the output remains. Okay? So even if we, we change the value of your x here, so for example, this is uh, 0, this is 1, this is 0, this is 0. Okay? If you notice that if load is equal to 0, then you have here 
zero and zero is zero, okay? And then you have your one, okay? One, and then this one here is one, one, one is one. Then the output of your OR gate is one. So if you notice that XO here is not transmitted in your input, but this particular output here, Q sub zero, are being transmitted back towards your D sub zero. So that the same condition here, so that when there is again another positive edge trigger at the clock, the output will remain as 1, 1, 0, 1. So that will be our 4-bit controlled buffer register.